Hello! Today I'm gonna show you how to shade drawings in GIMP three different ways I've seen so far. They're not the best ways, but like if you don't have a tablet and you're just using a mouse, it works pretty well for me. So before I start this video, um, I would like to say that the drawings aren't that drawing isn't that good, so yeah, don't judge. I did it like ages ago and the mouse and I didn't even know how to. I did it like on one layer, although usually you would do it on multiple layers. So yeah, I'm just using it as an example for shading. The first one is, we're just gonna use the pencil tool and it's okay, but it's pretty hard if you're using a mouse because the lines are pretty straight and jaggedy if you like doing it like me. You can make a straight line by pressing shift and then you just color it in and it kind of shades. And I did it on the other parts of the drawing. Well, then the second way is using one of their select tools to select one area. What the, um, the wand select tool selects like an area and the other one selects the same color. I'm just gonna use the one one. And you just use the paintbrush and it kind of makes a softer looking shadow but um, you kind of need to be careful with that one because with the mouse it's pretty hard as well. And the third one is going to be the one that lots of people like to use I guess because I've seen lots of tutorials on it I guess. but it's basically just use the dodge slash burn tool and you it it works I do it for skin a lot except you don't need to it's better if you don't pick uh, an orangish skin color like I did because it kind of looks really weird I usually try to make it more of a peachy color and then make it a bit pale so it looks like skin color not like a orange but it the shadows turn that orange for me otherwise I usually use that for skin and works pretty well for me but you need to take your time because it kind of looks bad if you just rush it like I did well anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it you can subscribe and like it and stuff but yeah, leave some suggestions in the description for what you want to see next because I will show you some tutorials if I know how to do them myself because I don't really, I'm not really that good. So I ca I, I'll just try to show you as much as I can. And yeah, well, basically, if you see something in the video that you want to know how I did, uh, f feel free to ask me. So yeah, see ya. Bye.